17 most radioactive places in the world. Number 17. The McClure Radioactive Site Back in the 1940s, a company called Radium Luminous Industries had a power plant that removed radium from the soil in order to be used in experiments for the rapid growth of plants. When the experiments failed, the power plant shut down. Years later, in the 70s, the land was bought by a housing development and it was discovered that the soil from the purchased land was contaminated. Number 16, the subterranean springs of Paralana. The hot springs located here are highly radioactive due to the uranium ore that heats the spring's waters. It's ill-advised to stay near the springs for an extended amount of time due to the health risks that they pose. The waters are also filled with a concentration of helium, radon, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. Number 15, the Goiano Institute of Radiotherapy. Goiás, Brazil became contaminated with radioactive waste that was caused by a radiation accident after a radiotherapy source had been stolen from an abandoned hospital nearby. Hundreds of people became sick and eventually died. Even today, there are still areas in Goiás that are considered radioactive. Number 14, the Denver Federal Center. This federal center located in Denver, Colorado was once used as a way of discarding various types of wastes that included contaminated materials, demolition debris, and chemicals. All of these radioactive materials were dumped in multiple areas that led to the several areas in Denver becoming contaminated. Number 13, the McGuire Air Force Base. This military air force base was labeled as one of the most contaminated military bases in the U.S. by the United States Environmental Protection Agency back in 2007. It was that same year that the agency ordered the United States military to proceed in the cleanup of the base. But as to this day, the contaminated waste still remains. Number 12, the Fort de Albervillers. Several tests were performed at Fort de Albervillers, and the results yielded an immense amount of radiation. It was found that out of the many burials that are stored here, 61 of them had tested positive for traces of radium-226 and cesium-137. There were even traces of radiation discovered in the soil, 60 cubic meters to be precise. Number 11, the Ace Renox Scrap Metal Processing Plant. This specific event occurred when a source for cesium-137 happened to pass through the monitoring devices in the processing plant's scrapyard. When it became smelted, the source created a discharge of radioactive cloud that had reached radiation levels of over a thousand times higher than what is conventional. Traces of the contamination were later discovered in countries such as France, Italy, Germany, Austria, and Switzerland. <laughs> Number 10, the NASA Santa Susana Field Laboratory. The field laboratory can be found in Simi Valley, California, and is the site where 10 nuclear reactors can be found. The reactors are low power and were deemed compromised because of many fires that happen to involve radioactive waste. The cleanup for this area has been on hold for many years as debates around costs have been the primary staller, but it is recently believed that all the cleanup should be completed by the end of 2016, except for one test stand and control building that will remain because of their historical significance. Number nine, the Hanford Nuclear Reservation Site. This nuclear reservation site played an essential role in the creation of the atomic bomb that would eventually be dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. Hanford aided in the production of the bomb project by manufacturing the plutonium that was needed. Even though the supply of plutonium was no longer needed in service, it was reported that around two thirds of it was left behind in Hanford and caused the groundwater to become contaminated. Number eight, the Mayak Production Association. There is a huge nuclear power plant that has called Mayak Russia home for the last several decades. It all took place back in 1957 when a tragic accident occurred that caused an explosion to release an estimated 100 tons of radioactive material into the environment and contaminated a large mass of the surrounding area, including Lake Karashe. For the next 23 years, the whole thing was made a cover-up, and it wasn't until 1980 that this information was finally made public. Around 400,000 people are believed to have been exposed to the toxic waste. 
Number seven, the Sellafield Power Plant. Before its initial conversion into a commercial territory, Sellafield in the United Kingdom was once a plutonium facility that produced nuclear bombs. To this day, it's believed that around two thirds of all the buildings that are located within Sellafield are labeled as being polluted by radioactive waste. The plant is said to set free around eight million liters of radioactive waste each day. It is the cause of so many deaths from nearby residents. <laughs> Number six, the Church Rock Uranium Mill. The notorious Church Rock Uranium Mill spill is responsible for over a thousand tons of solid radioactive waste that was spilled out and ended up flowing into the Puerco River, along with another 93 million gallons of acidic tailing solution that was also radioactive. Because of this, the radiation levels in the area skyrocketed up to 7,000 times higher than what they already were. During a study that was conducted back in 2003, researchers found that the river still shows signs of contamination. Number five, Siberian Chemical Combine. Siberia, Russia happens to be the home of one of the most massive chemical facilities in the entirety of the world. The Siberian Chemical Combine is responsible for the contamination of the groundwaters in surrounding areas, nearly 125,000 tons of solid waste to be exact. Research data also shows that the rain and wind have helped in transferring the waste near local animals and caused a massive spike in their death toll. <laughs> Number four, the Polygon. The Polygon, which is located in Kazakhstan, is famously known for its atomic bomb project. This was the site where the Soviet Union launched and tested their first nuclear bomb, which was recorded at holding the biggest concentrated amount of nuclear explosions in the whole world. The uninhabited area is responsible for an estimated 200,000 cases of people suffering from radiation complications. <laughs> Number three, the Zapadinia Mining and Chemical Combine. The mining town of Mailusu'u is known for being one of the top 10 most polluted places in the entire world. It was during 1946 to 1968 that the Chemical Combine extracted around 9,100 tons of uranium for the Soviet Union's nuclear program. A landslide managed to spill 1,600,000 gallons of uranium from unstable uranium tailing pits that were left on an even more unstable hillside just above the town. Number two, the Chernobyl nuclear power plant. It was April 26, 1986, when a scheduled experiment to test the plant's potential emergency core cooling safety feature backfired and caused the fourth reactor's core to explode due to an increase of power. There was no containment vessel to trap any of the escaping radiation, and so it spread through the air with the help of smoke. That radiation would go on to affect six million people and cause an estimated 4,000 to 93,000 deaths. The plant still remains heavily contaminated and had released around 100 times more radiation than the bombs dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Number one, the Fukushima Daini nuclear power plant. On March 11, 2011, the Tohoku earthquake struck at a 9.0 magnitude that also created massive tsunamis. The first plant was hit by a tsunami that was measured at being 29 feet high and was followed by a second tsunami that hit the second plant with a wall of water almost 43 feet tall. The four reactors at the Fukushima 2 automatically shut down. This event has been categorized as the worst nuclear accident since the incident at Chernobyl. The effects have been long-lasting radiation leakage has been detected over 200 miles away. <laughs> <laughs>